What up fam, it's your boy Nick Trace Crypto. In today's video, I wanna quickly run through the charts, see what's been happening over the last 24 hours and what has Bitcoin really been up to? I mean, we did see a bit of a top here at around 64,466 earlier this evening during our New York session, unfortunately. We couldn't really hold it. I mean, we did end up tumbling down. You can see we're on the on the one at the moment. We did manage to sort of create this particular uh, imbalance over here, but we've pretty much fallen through most of the important EMAs on the Ali, especially the 200 EMA. We are right below it at the moment. You can clearly see right around here, to be honest. Yep. So technically, we are bearish on on uh, the one Ali. And if you look at this, we do have one support over here at around, what, 61,500. So if we do tumble till roughly around that area, that's where we're looking to take some sort of support. Now, we can see the MACD, it is sort of curling back to the upside. You know, it did create this, uh, this low, but we didn't really manage to get this bar below that as well. So that is suggesting that we could see some sort of a, well, attempt to move back to the upside, otherwise tumble to the downside. We did create this on the on the Wu Manchu. We did create this uh, bearish divergence that you can see here. So we did anticipate that to eventually play out. But yeah, I mean, that's something that we're currently looking at even over here. You can clearly see us dipping and creating this curve over here. Just in terms of the VWAP itself, it's trying to get back up there. Money flow is fairly low at the moment on the one alley. So that's something to keep in mind as well. We did sort of top off over here with um, with regard to the RSI as well. So yeah, I mean, this particular move to the downside, we could have seen it a mile away. You know, even, even volume has gone fairly low over here at this point of time. Sort of anticipating, I mean, we could see that attempt to break this, the 200 EMA on the alley. If we fail or get rejected, we could see that tumble down to around this area at 61.6. If you lose this, it's pretty much a bit of a free fall there. It could end up back in the 60s again, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, look, just in terms of the liquidation heat map, you can clearly see that we had these specific areas here that have all been nicked at this point of time, you know. Um, now, we did have these particular levels all the way to around about, what, 67,000, which would have been at the top of that uh, trend line on, on the daily that I showed you guys the other day as well. Now, all the levels to the downside is what looks the most juiciest at this point. It is literally a lot of longs collecting towards the downside. Big, big, big level sitting at around 59,700. You can see that level at around 61,500. That's the one over here. You can see that collecting quite a bit. This goes all the way down to around 57,339. If I go to the liquidations on this particular map over here, you can see that it actually makes sense to, you know, probably grab all of this up till around what 58,857 you know so we could potentially see that I'm not saying that we are um, but you know it makes sense to grab all of this in this particular region um, you know as a market maker so something to definitely keep an eye on look just in terms of you know something slightly bearish I did want to show you guys psychedelic. I did, well, sort of uh, show you guys what he had to say, you know, with regard to the market. He has been slightly bearish, uh, but for good reason. Obviously, we are seeing that change in the market. Um, and he did call this move to the downside, to be honest. So he did post this two hours ago. He said that I think that Bitcoin will have had made new highs by the end of October latest within the first week of November. And I think that Bitcoin will also be over 100K by the end of this particular year. And I also do think Bitcoin will hit 150K, uh, potentially 210K in Q1 of 2025. Also will obviously top out by the by the end of Q1, beginning of Q2, and we will potentially start seeing a new bear market in the second half of next year at some point. Now, this is essentially going to be a Bitcoin blow off top. Now we have had a heard of the blow off top, you know, a repeat of that in this particular cycle. So he's saying the same. Um, it will be extremely explosive, quick to happen, and over a lot faster than one or most can really understand. The euphoria will be like nothing you can potentially have witnessed before. Regardless of the day-to-day -day price action, uh, now the stage is already set. The last big dip before the massive pump is going to happen over the next week. 
and the only thing you have to do is not sell while Haller waits for the holders with conviction that's pretty much his thoughts definitely excited to see what happens Oya and I've mentioned this in a video that I made prior to this as well you know that I do anticipate some sort of a top by an end to this particular market by Q1 early Q2 as well so I sort of do agree with well, the stuff that he's saying really and can resonate with it. Really looking forward to that 150k Bitcoin. Look, just personally, I do think 100k is an area that we could get to. Um, just specifically from a FIB point of view, in the first two cycles, we hit the 2.36. Third one, the 1.68. Could we hit the 1.68 again? If we did, it would actually put us in that area of around about, what, 150 to 170. But look, if you don't get that, the 1.272 has been the common denominator amongst all three cycles. So even 105 to 110K, I, I'm, I'm betting my money, you know, on 105 to 110K. So I would expect it to get to those levels. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with um, 95 as well. If you get 92 to 95, I think I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video, uh, learn something new. If you did, make sure to like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Do check out our TG. That's where we post most of the time, um, you know, constant updates, insights, all of that good stuff. We also do have Gold channel, totally free. Do check us out, NFADYOR. And as usual, I'll see you in my next video.